picture our blue planet and take two deep breaths. One of those came from the ocean. The ocean gives us so much. Over three billion people depend on it for their lives. It is vast and covers almost three quarters of our planet. But despite its scale, over time, we have taken too much. We are using the ocean more than ever before, often without regard. The ocean is being mismanaged, and ocean activities and their impacts are only growing. Everything is interconnected, and we have created an imbalance. Ever wonder who is working for the ocean? Governments, international institutions, nonprofit organizations, private sector, and people like you and me. There are many of us, and we are working towards the same goal. Over 30 years ago, countries came together and created a constitution for the ocean the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. This convention governs how countries interact with the ocean. It establishes rights and obligations for coastal states and landlocked countries, provides a framework to protect the environment, helps states resolve their differences, and creates clarity and balance in the ocean. It does so by dividing the ocean into zones and by defining different rights and obligations for states in each. Territorial sea, contiguous zone, exclusive economic zone, continental shelf, and the high seas. The convention gives us a framework for peace and sustainability but it is not a fix for all ocean problems. The ocean is one entity, and the problems in one part become problems for the entire world. We all need to come together to develop responsible and innovative approaches for improvement and to support the implementation of the Constitution for our ocean. We have the ability to create a positive impact on the ocean and to build a sustainable future that leaves no one behind. And we must, because we are all in this together.